Oh, this is stage three. So we've done, created the window at the front. We've added wax in the palette. We've added buckley. We've fixed the tray and now some kindly offer to mix and alginate for us. So now we're going to take an impression which doesn't involve the label aspects of these two. So that's the whole point of this. So I'm going to bring you up. So sorry, this is a bit boring, guys. You're going to have to watch this mix because we don't necessarily stop the film and start again. So as ever, if you take an alginate to attach running, why do we do that? To stop us getting surface bubbles because it reduces the surface tension. It's Friday afternoon in Bristol, it's gone really quiet, which is quite nice, which is why we're doing this. So here we have, mixed by our expert final year student. Load the tray, put them on the other side. Load the tray on this side. Now all we're trying to take our impression here is the palette and the molars. We don't want anything to do with the anterior part of the impression. So lo tray's loaded. Under a tap, sink the tray in the mouth, extract the tissues, or use a mirror. Please use a mirror, guys. Push the tray up, watch it go in. Now, what we want to do is make sure we've got no alginate labelling. So just take a finger, it doesn't need to be a work of art, and just clear the teeth, empty apart the teeth, like so. And then we just let this set. Bit of border moulding. Ask the patient to move their chin left or right. So the coronary process squeezes the buckle contour so it's spot on. So we're not going to take this out. There are some people who do this, does this technique and actually take the tray out. I'm going to leave this in on the assumption that we've got it right. Don't you love patients with facial hair and alginate? Mm -hmm. Let's make a mess, guys. Look. It's worse with silicon and it's much worse with polyether. Okay, so there we have alginates in the mouth. We'll stop at that point.